Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission. And we're going to start off fresh and new right from the anomaly rather than from a planet or something like that. And we're going to go old school today. We're going to take the old golden vector out for a spin as we complete our Weekend Anomaly. We are in the fourth to third week of the expedition. Speed runs are going strong right now and very powerful. So we're going to see how these things go. Looks like we have to rescue a stranded life form. So we're anonymous assistance is what we're going for. My reward is not only the 1800 Quicksilver, but I'm going to get a warp hypercore out of this, as well as 414,000 units. Always a good mission to get moving for those of you who are new to the game. So once you have access to the anomaly, you should have access to these particular missions. These missions also allow you to not only get the Anomaly mission, which is always present with the emblem at the top of the Nexus over here, but you have three other ones over here that can show up. Some of you may have one, some may have two, some may have three. You'll never see more than three over there. With every single day that you that you are uh, playing No Man's Sky, 24-hour period, you'll get one of those little yellow emblems added, allowing you to play a mission that gives you Quicksilver. Once those three are eliminated for the day, you have to wait another day until another one populates. You can only have a maximum of three, though. So, as we leave this space station, as you can see, we're heading straight into hyperspace. We're going to appear in the system of its choosing. Here comes that system now. Anytime now. It's making me a liar. We'll get there in just a moment. There we go. All right. We're in the system now, so we just got to pay attention to where it directs us. It should show us a last known coordinates marked, and it's pulling us to the right. Let's go ahead and head over here to that planet right there. All right. Looks like we have a vile anomaly planet. Emerald, so we're in a green system, ammonia salt, and aggressive sentinels. Those of you who are who uh, don't play well with Sentinels or have a little bit of a hard time challenging them, yeah, this may not be your mission. So I think what we're going to do, if the Sentinels are a little bit more annoying than usual, what we'll do is we'll pull out our, uh, our best multi-tool and we'll take them out real quick, as fast as possible, so we can have a free reign of uh, getting this mission done. So we're coming up on the on the life form right now. It says it's an approximate location. My suggestion is you come down a little bit early and go into first person view and look for that item right there. Look for a landed ship someplace. So as you come across, you'll see the icons to our left are ships that are going past. Looks like there's another one on the platform, but this one's remaining steady. Oh, that's one that's heading into space. So I don't think we see ourselves a stranded life form. Oh, wait, wait. What is that? Nope, that is definitely not it. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to head back this way. And I'll do a quick scan. Okay. Looks like we've got a building right over there. So let's see if that's it. But we're going to keep a close eye on our radar. It looks like there might be a ship to behind us and to the left. Yeah, see, this is just a landing platform. This one seems to be remaining steady on our map. So as we come across it, there you go. There's our ship and our stranded life form. Let's come in for a landing. And let's see what we have going on with these uh, sentinels as well. Now, I'm going to switch to a multi-tool of my choosing, just in case that is going to be my polygon blaster. Okay, and we are on bulk caster already, so we're all set just in case. All right, let's see what our life form says and make sure we don't get attacked by anything while we're here. So it's a traveler just like ours. The travelers seem surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here, how I found them. Forlornly, Traveler Havis shows me their ship's melted navigation computer. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So, we got to look for it. Now, the part that we're looking for is going to come in the form of buried technology. So, as we look around, you should see some buried tech nearby. 
There's one right there. So, as you can see, it wants us to do an F, so we'll do the F real quick. There we go, see? Now it's starting to work. So this is our first one right in front of us. We're going to go ahead and dig that one up. So I'm going to go to my brain manipulator. I'm just going to dig a hole going down in there and around it. You don't have to dig sometimes, and I'm going to switch back to my bolt caster just in case. Looks like we found the rare item, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's what we're looking for. We have to hit the E button when we get into our inventory. There it is right there. Analyze it. And it looks like we have the right one. Now, if it, doesn't, if it tells you it's the wrong one, it will make you go look for another one. And you could get attacked by several, so keep that in mind. Okay. So it is over that way. It looks like it's seven minutes by foot. We're not going to go by foot, obviously. We're going to take our ship, because we're in the middle of a storm right now. There we go. Now, this shouldn't be an approximate location. It's usually just a decryption terminal. Whoa, whoa we just crossed right over it here. All right, there it is. Now, these usually come at a cost. Let's see what happens. Oh, yep, we got some corrupted sentinels. We have to take them out. Looks like we had five of them that we had to take care of. I'm going to gather up the resources that they... Uh, Provided me with. Looks like there's nothing else. So now that they're defeated, we're going to go into our decryption terminal. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. So we're going to send them the encryption, encrypted navigation computer. Uh, navigation computer detected. Pairing. Key downloading. Syncing. Device decrypted. So now it is completely decrypted. We now have a regular, ordinary navigation computer. And if you want, you can pick up items while you're here. For instance, the save chart right here will give you some navigation data and usually about 10 nanites okay good deal there it is navigation data so we're gonna head back to our traveler can't see a blessed thing so we're probably gonna run into something while we're here ah there we go Coming for a landing and this is pretty much it for the mission. As long as you have a terrain manipulator, you can complete this mission. Oop. Eh, wasn't trying to go in there. There we go. Um, that's very strange. Our traveler has turned into a gek. How in the world did that happen? Well, we'll give it to him. And he just, uh, you know, leaves. We back away. The ship should take off. I did say the ship should take off, right? Okay, so it looks like it could be just a little bit broken. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. It doesn't seem to want to take off. You can also gather items from the devices that are sitting around here, so you pick those up if you will. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and jump in our golden vector and head on out of here. So our mission is complete. We do just return to the Nexus, or the Anomaly in this case. Very oddly colored system. There we go. Gotta get a little further out away from the planet. There we go. Okay. And we're done with our mission. In we go. Okay, good deal. Now, at the time of this recording, this recording is being made very early on a Saturday morning. Instead of the 9th, it's actually the 10th of August. So you'll be getting this sometime during the 10th of August. There we go. Out we go. Back to the Nexus inside the Anomaly, and we're just going to turn in our mission. There we go. There we go. Complete mission. And you get your Quicksilver, and you get your Hypercore, and your credits. Not all of you will get the Hypercore. You'll probably get some other kind of uh, uh, item besides that, but that's what I did. We're going to check out the Quicksilver vendor real quick because 
we should have some exotic items that we've been getting. As you can see, we've been opening up different categories inside of the tiers, inside the uh, expedition. We now have the legs and we have the liquidator body. So we can now start adding that to our minotaur. One more time, we're going to be getting the liquidator right arm. Once we unlock it in tier 5, we're about 30% complete right now. Once that's opened up, we'll get our flamethrower on our minotaur. Isn't that fantastic? I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be so cool. So we got the liquidator legs, and we got this. So it does take some items. Keep that in mind. A quantum computer and a walker brain. So try to hang on to some of those. They'll come in very handy. All right, and that's pretty much it. Remember, here is your... Um, Expedition Terminus to complete your mission if you want to do it through your regular save. You can do that as well. Instructions have been provided by very many content creators, so feel free to do so. Now, if you wish to return to the system you came from to begin with, simply jump in the ship like I am and exit the anomaly. The anomaly will automatically send you back to the system you came from. And it won't use up any of your hypercores to do so. So that'll get you back where you belong. Well, there we go, folks. That should take care of our anomaly mission for the weekend of the 9th through the 11th. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you wish to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. The like button does definitely help the channel. And, hey, subscribing is always a pleasant thing, and I really appreciate it. If you wish to join the channel, there's a join button down below. $1.99 will get you a uh, monthly uh, uh, membership to my channel as a friend to the channel. And uh, I do, uh, I encourage it. It would be very nice. You don't have to, but the, any, any funds I get from that go towards upgrading my uh, computer at some point. So just keeping that in mind. I'm going to head over to my freighter and come in for a landing. There it is right in front of this wonderful low atmosphere planet. Here we go. And into the freighter we go, folks. All righty. So we're all set, and thank you again for watching. Gotta get inside and get out of my ship. I gotta get in the famous Elon Paul end of episode wave. There we go. Alright guys, I want to thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. Again, hit that like button. We'll see you again in the next episode. Take care everybody.